In this video, we'll see how you can use the unique function to get the unique elements of an array. It's pretty simple to use. If you have an array called gar, then unique gar gives you the unique elements. Simple enough, although you may have noticed that the order in which the elements occurred in the original array is different than the output. In the original array, b occurred first, but in the output, a occurs first. That's because unique returns the unique elements in sorted order. Let's try that again, but this time we'll call unique with return index equals true. With return index set to true, NumPy gives us a tuple containing the unique elements array and a corresponding array that tells us the index at which each element first occurred in the original array. For example, a first occurred at index two in the original array, b first occurred at index 0, and so on. This is useful if you want to reorder the unique elements in the same order they occurred in the original array. To do this, argsort the index array and use that to sort the unique array. Another sweet feature of unique is that you can tell NumPy to return the count of each element. To do this, just set return counts equal to true.